All right, guys. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do our arthropod, um, our second arthropod ball um, of uh, dissection here with our crawdad. So here we go. We have our crawdad. So the first thing we need to determine is if we're working with a male or a female here. So if you look. Um, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Ah, there. That's probably pretty good. Um, right here, if you look at um, this area right before it comes to the tail, um, that's where the um, sex organs are located. And here we have two kind of like extra claspers, um, as well as some extra claspers. Um, underneath here, I know the lighting's not the best in here. I'm trying to get the best I can. Um, so because of these extra claspers, we have a male. If it was a female, um, there would just be a seminal receptacle here. Um, so, but since we have extra claspers for for grasping and everything, uh, we know that we have a male. So, um, starting from head to toe anatomy, we have um, antenna that are used for sensory coming off the top here. We have our eyes that can actually work independently of each other right after that. Okay. Then we have um, our rostrum, which is kind of like a nose. Um, if you look in between the antenna, kind of like right in the middle there, um, this guy, that's our rostrum, which works like our nose. Um, then we also have below the eyes here. These little dots, these are um, nephritopore, okay? Um, so this helps with um, digestion um, and nephra meaning kidneys. Um, so it's a, a tube that'll actually go down to the kidneys, all right? Of course, we have our really big um, uh, uh, chelipeds here, okay? Kind of like how you would see like on a scorpion, okay? So we have these guys here. And then um, down below these guys here, okay, we have our mandibles, right? So um, crawdads fall under mandibulata, okay? And then the mouth is actually all the way down below um, in between the mandibles down here, okay? So the eyes and the nose are all the way here, and then the mouth is all the way down, um, just about down by the uh, uh, chelic uh, chelicera, or I'm sorry, not the chelicera, the chelipeds. Um, so there's quite a bit of space between there, okay? Um, so moving down from there, we have eight legs for locomotion, for moving around, okay? Uh, we have some other legs down here um, that are not quite as big. Um, these would be our, our uh, pleopods all the way down here. Um, our gills for these guys, if we move these legs up, okay, you can kind of see like these hairy looking things right here. There we go. Okay, the light colored um, piece. Okay, those are our gills. So that's what the um, crawdad's going to use to breathe. Okay, then. You should be able to see a dark line all the way down here um, leading to a pole. So this is actually the uh, uh, intestines and then this is the anus back here. And then we have our uropod or our tail um, all the way here towards the back, okay? Um, so that's just kind of like external um, anatomy. We have our, our uh, chitinous shell here, so we have an exoskeleton as well okay um so i think that pretty much covers everything um externally we'll go ahead and get to internal anatomy here so what i'm doing is i'm just taking my scissors um and just starting towards the tail and i'm gonna cut my way up might need to use a scalpel oh no there we go It's kind of off to the side of everything. There 
There we go. Open this guy up. If you guys are um, gonna go into deeper science, like if you're gonna go into um, pre-med, like Felicity, I know you're going pre-med, so you're gonna do um, zoology. Um, so you'll do um, a lot of these dissections that we're doing now, like in zoology. You also have to take some classes like um, comparative, uh, comparative vertebrate anatomy, where you'll look at some of these different um, organisms. Um, just remember guys you're not going to hurt these animals feelings <laughs> they're already gone right so you can take stuff apart um play around kind of like it's really they're here for your benefit so i mean if you're not able to see something clearly or um if you need to get stuff out of the way like it doesn't necessarily have to be clean right it's it's a learning process here um so do what you got to do So we're going to take a look at the digestive system first. Okay. I'll bring this guy up a little bit closer here uh, so you guys can see. Okay. There we go. Trying to get to focus just a little bit for you. Um, all right. So if we're starting all the way up um, at the top here, um, this really broad part is called the cardiac stomach. Okay. Then moving down a little bit this way and underneath, we'll have the pyloric stomach. All right. Then there's a tube that comes all the way down this way, um, which is the intestine. Okay. And then we come all the way down here to the very back to the anus. Okay, so one log tube coming all the way down. So a much more uh, linear, um, straight line and efficient digestive system compared to the clam that we did. Um, and this guy can obviously handle much more complex organisms than the clam can. All right, I'm sorry, the mollusk that we did. Okay, um, coming up this way, 
Um, you can't really see it very well, but there's a little antenna artery that serves for uh, blood flow up this way, okay? Um, and then all the way um, at the back here, let's see if I can move this out the way. There we go. Um, so if we turn this guy all the way over, right back here, okay? That's actually the heart. Um, so the heart is all the way up at the top. So for you guys, it'd kind of be like if the heart sat um, all the way back, like resting on your spine. Okay, so it's kind of like an odd location um, when we think about it for the heart to be, but serves these guys really well. It's ventral, so it serves all of the sensory portion and all of the organs for feeding um, right off the bat, right? There we go. Okay, you can kind of see more of it down this way. Um, you can see more blood vessels coming down this way, supplying the rest of the body, okay? Um, so we already talked about the mouth, the eye, um, the esophagus, uh, the gills. We already showed you guys those um, externally. But if you lift up the legs, um, you can see the gills again right on the side here. So I apologize, the picture is kind of grainy. Um, doing the best that we can. Um, and then uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is the liver. And the liver is actually all the way back here. There we go. Right there. So this long linear piece. Um, let's see if I can get to there. This long linear piece right here is actually the liver. A little bit different than um, what we saw on the mollusk. Um, that had like a pretty decent size like kidney, right? Or an oversized kidney. Um, so that is our basic anatomy for our crawfish, okay? Um, so as you can see, digestive system wise, we have um, formed a much more linear setup than what the mollusk had, okay? With um, reproductive system, we have everything like located towards the middle of the organism. Okay, um, so we've done that. Um, we also have um, some more specialized tissues um, as far as like our arteries um, and our gills for getting oxygen out of water and circulating that to different um, different spots um, via. Um, uh, via our circulatory system, okay? Um, and besides that, um, I didn't get to show it to you guys because I had to cr like crack it open a little bit um, to get you a better view of the organs. But up here at the head, we have a slightly larger like nerve ganglion um, that is really kind of, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. But it's right here, um, and it's quite a bit larger than what we saw on our mollusk um, example with uh, with our freshwater mollusk. Uh, but roughly about like um, two to three times the size of the nerve ganglions that we were looking at with the um, mollusk. Okay, so more complex nervous system, uh, more of a linear digestive system, a centrally located reproductive system, okay? And um, gills that are located like right next to the circulatory system for more efficient uh, um, perfusion of like oxygenated blood to all of the tissues, right? So we're stepping up quite a bit um, as far as complexity, locomotion, um, symmetry, all of that, right? Um, so if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Um, like I said, apologize, the image is kind of grainy. Having to knock it out my, my garage today because um, I have limited access to the college myself at this time. Um, so don't really get to do it in a well-lit lab, but hopefully this works. Um, if you guys, like I said, have any additional questions, feel free to email me, reach out to me on Facebook. I'll ask a couple questions via Facebook Messenger today about this dissection. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe. 
Um, tomorrow, I should be able to actually get down to the college and work in the laboratory there. Um, so we'll do the dissection for um, our frog and possibly our snake um, on Wednesday tomorrow. So um, anything else, just let me know. Um, all right, guys, stay safe. We'll talk to you next time.